The Grid Compass written grid by its manufacturer Grid Systems Corporation was one of the first laptop computers. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design The design used a clamshell case where the screen folds flat to the rest of the computer when closed, which was made from a magnesium alloy. The computer featured an Intel 8086 processor, a 320 240 pixel electroluminescent display, 340 kilobyte magnetic bubble memory, and a 1200 bit S modem. Devices such as hard drives and floppy drives could be connected via the IEEE 488 IO also known as the GPIB or General Purpose Instrumentation Bus. This port made it possible to connect multiple devices to the addressable device bus. It weighed 5 kg the power input is approximately 110/220 of a volt AC, 47 to 66 hertz, 75 W. The Compass ran its own operating system, Grid OS. Its specialized software and high price, $8,000 to $10,000, meant that it was limited to specialized applications. The main buyer was the U.S. government. NASA used it on the Space Shuttle during the early 1980s, as it was powerful, lightweight, and compact. The military special forces also purchased the machine, as it could be used by paratroopers in combat. Along with the Gavilan SC and Sharp PC-5000 released the following year, the Grid Compass established much of the basic design of subsequent laptop computers, although the laptop concept itself owed much to the Dynabook project developed at Xerox PARC from the late 1960s. The Compass Company subsequently earned significant returns on its patent rights as its innovations became commonplace. Topic. Production Development began in 1979 and the initial model, the 1101, was introduced in April 1982. The Model 1100 did not exist, except in marketing materials. The computer was designed by British industrial designer Bill Mogridge. Topic: Competitors. The portable Osborne One computer, sold at around the same time as the Grid, was more affordable and more popular, and ran the popular CPM operating system. But unlike the Compass, the Osborne was not a laptop and lacked the Compass's refinement and small size. <laughs> 